Now, yeah, we had to build the interior of the plane on the stage, both a cockpit, which is a set that we brought in from Los Angeles, and the, 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 the coach class cabin, the fuselage of the plane. We basically took the guts out of the plane that we used on the runway, built a wooden structure around it to create the interior, and then the portion of that will also go on the gimbal so the, pa the passengers can, can bounce around. That was the only approach, at least from my perspective. I, I, the first approach, shaking the camera and leaving a fuselage of the aircraft on the ground, nobody would believe any of that. Why would anybody choose to do something that is never going to be believed by anybody? So that's, not ne that's never an option. So we basically set up the front cabin, the cockpit, and the passenger's cabin, but especially the cockpit, we had that in a pretty extreme gimbal. And we spent, got about two and a half weeks in there, myself and Yusa and my co-pilot. And that thing could move. It was like a fairground ride. It could throw you all over the place. And that was to simulate us going through the storm. So I tried before because to have the, um, the sensation what, what the actors will how they will feel. My God. <laughs> you know, it, it's good for me, maybe one minute, but they, was, they were all the day inside. You know, I've experienced turbulence, but acting that out on a plane, how easy is that gonna be? And then we're told, guys, the plane's on a gimbal. You know, you're, the plane's gonna move. And you're like, really? It was like, we were, we were so spoiled. Because I honestly think you could grab a guy off the street, put them on that plane that we were on, on that gimbal, and they would be terrified. <laughs>